My house is a huge mess and I need to fold laundry. But right now Eric is just wanting to play, which is fine because he's a lot of fun to play with. But we went to the grocery store this morning because I forgot to hit checkout on my delivery order and we were completely out of Eric's food. <laughs> so we went to the grocery store and actually I had like a pouch of yogurt that he doesn't super love. And I usually feed him with a like a spoon in the morning, like we sit down and he eats out of a bowl. And he flat out refused to eat the yogurt this morning. And he waited until after we went to the grocery store and got the yogurt he likes for his breakfast. And so he ate like an hour and a half late. And when we were at the grocery store, we got him some more of his like cheap cups. And he's now playing with those and the straws. So, because real toys aren't what he's interested in. He's interested in like so far these. Um, this morning he nursed while holding a bottle of Tums that he likes to shake. Be right back. got the, I had a bunch of whites separated from when I did laundry the other day, but the pile I had didn't get washed of whites. So I went through the laundry that we've since accumulated since the last time I did laundry, which is this many whites, put them in the wash. Yeah, my washer needs like wipe down. Yeah. Hi Eric. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so I am officially a full-time stay-at-home mom. And so this is my um, first video after that. And also Eric is still gonna be going to the babysitter on Tuesday. So, well, He's going a day a week. I think next month he'll go on Thursdays. But today's my first Tuesday. And right now I have a lot of surfaces that have all sorts of kind of just junk on them. And so my house is reasonably clean. It's still kind of messy. I think I'm gonna clean my room today. Maybe change my sheets. But top of the list is gathering all of the junk and cleaning all of the surfaces. Let stuff collect here and here, particularly in here. This is, I think, the worst offender right here, which is our dresser. Our closet's pretty bad too. This is the dresser in our closet.
good cleaning of things. I found something that needed cleaned while I was cleaning, so I had to clean the thing that I found needed cleaned before I cleaned the thing that I set out to clean. You with me? This is a little better here. These are glasses, these are belts. These are where I throw socks that I know there's a chance that we'll find a match somewhere. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, that's a mattress tie. We keep not enough stuff to file regularly, but this is the stuff that needs filed. This is stuff that goes to my brother-in-law that has come to our house. And then this is water bills because water bills mean we get to take a load of things to the dump for free. So we keep a year's worth of water bills, our mortgage payments and our pay stubs. This has gotten much better. I think I wrote this and my grandma gave it to me as a Mother's Day gift when she framed it. So I think I'm going to, um, this is in Esther, in the book of Esther. And it's one of my favorite Bible quotes. Um, I think I need to do some sort of artwork on it. And then jewelry box was hardy. I mean, I could probably clean that. Maybe I'll one day go through what I have in here. That might be an interesting video. And then this stack of things, this rosin. So Hill Music, the place I used to work, keeps rosin, um, old rosin that comes out of cases. We keep a box of it. Um, and then kids come in who are in the rodeo they use this rosin on their ropes. And so I one day set aside this rosin to give to my cousin Dylan because he was starting to be in rodeo and then he passed away. So I have this rosin that I keep because it seems wrong to throw it away. So rosin I'll never use, but also won't throw away. And then this is the headpiece I wore to my wedding, I wore at my wedding. And then this is uh, like a nausea relief band so just kind of keep that out. And that's a cotton headed ninny muggins that my friend Olivia made me. And hair ties where I kind of keep some uh, just other assorted jewelry. And these are super handy. Hold your phone up. So yeah, I'd say this was a good transformation. And then here's this shelf here. Keep our thank you cards and stamps and more thank you cards because for some reason we had two boxes of them and then these are just cards that we've gotten recently that i'll probably file and then um timmy and i have both lost a grandma in the past well his grandma's recent my grandma passed away about a year ago but i found this while i was cleaning things it's uh, her funeral program so just uh and then other cards we've gotten recently that i'll need to file is what Timmy uses kind of in the mornings. He has all of the other stuff that'll go in here right now, like his wallet, but he likes to have a place to dump all of his things. So that is his new dump spot. So straightened up the junk drawer a bit because a lot of the things that I found while I was cleaning things needed to go in here. So these are all cables, this whole little basket here. And then batteries and kind of some other miscellaneous stuff, things we don't need. That's where the other mattress clips are, so I need to grab that one mattress clip and put it in here. But then, you know, just random assorted things. Found this while I was cleaning, so it went in there. Shoelaces, you know, standard junk drawer stuff. I also ended up sorting my broom cupboard a little bit. I mean, it's not great. There's all sorts of stuff stacked back there, but sorted my broom cu cupboard a little bit while I was cleaning. Okay, so this part is a lot better here. So. That's the portal. Has all sorts of family pictures on it. It's Aria, Sagan. And that's Eric and a family friend and me and Timmy. So yeah, that's the portal. And sometimes we'll say to Eric, hey Eric, do you want to call grandma? And he looks right at that because we video call on that. So if you're ever wanting to video call us, we'll answer on this.
can't find any king size pillowcases and we keep two king size pillows on our bed. And so I went downstairs and our basement has recently flooded. So it's a bit of a mess. I mean, it's a giant mess. This is our guest bedroom. And these are sheets, but there still aren't any king size pillowcases with our sheets. And this used to be where I kept all the linens, but we had to unload it to move it. So I think somewhere in this pile, there's a bed here holding up all of this loveliness. Here, have a wider angle. The horror. One of those times where I need, I'm pretty sure I have some king size pillowcases in the laundry room. However, that's where Bosco is and Bosco and Puppy don't get along at all. But I need both my bedroom door open because I'm cleaning in there and the laundry room door open. So my stepdad recently uh, gave us a solution to the cats not getting along situation. Puppy will hang out in this thing. It's a cat octagon. And I only need both of them out for probably 15 minutes. So I'll keep a close eye on them, but it gives them a chance to see each other and smell each other without being able to actually get to each other. And I will be cleaning a little bit, but I will be right in the next room and checking on them every couple minutes. It's much later now. And I think that'll conclude this one. Have a good night. Oh yeah, and the cats were just fine.